Peace, great rising kings and queens. I'm doing this video message because I've gotten so many calls, messages, and questions in reference to the total solar eclipse that's happening on August 21st. Uh, this is definitely a magical, mystical time in existence um, in our realm of reality. You're definitely going to see a lot of uh, spiritual things start to come into our physical reality. You're going to start seeing orbs, auras, spirits. Um, some of you may already be seeing those things. You're going to be more sensitive to energy and other people's energy. It will definitely affect you um, and you will definitely be much more sensitive to the things and people around you. Follow your spirit though. If you feel something that is not quite right, don't second guess yourself, don't question yourself, just be um, operate in whatever it is that you're feeling. Um, you know, let your actions, you know, flow along with what you're feeling because your spirit is like your GPS to your body. And a lot of times people don't listen, listen to that. And uh, that's the mistakes that they make. So take time to, to listen to yourself. Definitely is now a time for fasting. Um, it's time for you to let go of anything that is heavy, that's weighing you down. A lot of meats are definitely affecting us in a very negative way. And most people don't have the self-control or discipline to you know, do a fast. A Daniel fast right now would be the most beneficial thing to you. Natural fruit and vegetables, water, um, getting in the sun to uh, let that energize you. There's information in sun rays. There's energy. There's power. And if you take the time to um, soak it up, you'll definitely be charged. There is so much Syrian energy. And when I say Syrian, I mean um, of the Sirius star constellation the Sirius star system um, that's the origins of life so I would advise you guys to study that you know maybe research those things it could give you more knowledge and help you get through this time it will definitely help answer a lot of questions a lot of you definitely need to do your natal chart your natal chart gives you information on who you are it's tied into your birth date, um, you know, and the portal that you entered this life realm in. It has a lot to do with your attributes, your qualities. So if you would Google natal chart calculator, enter that information and just read upon yourself. I guarantee you, you would be shocked and surprised at how accurate it is and how beneficial it'll be to you. Um, divine connections this is definitely a time for divine connections is definitely a time where you will be drawn to certain individuals um, fear doubt insecurities past pains and experiences will keep you from magical moments and um, people that you are supposed to be tied to and connected to at the time Overcome fear, overcome doubt, overcome those things that you know you need to, that is not of you. You know, a lot of things that we think are one with us or not of us. They're things that we've gotten from our parents or those past pains and experiences that no longer affect us, but we still hold on to those things. Meditation, 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 meditation. Um, if you don't know how to meditate, if you don't meditate, yo, I would advise you to pull up some YouTube videos, get with someone that does meditate or know how to, and tap into that. Um, not meditating is like not eating, not resting, not doing those things that you know you need to do that should just be normal. You know what I mean? It's like not washing, not brushing your teeth. Those are things that you need to do to maintain a certain balance or quality of life. Meditation is like 
calling someone, asking them a question, and hanging up before you get an answer. So take the time to be still and know that God is God. And when you quiet your mind and your body and you be still, you'll be surprised at the things that will manifest and take place and that will come to you. Um, a lot of you are being distracted. A lot of you are being distracted by relationships, certain people in your lives, your job. Um, you're not happy doing what you're doing. And if you just tap into your passions right now, it will definitely turn into profit. Your passion, your purpose, and profit are all linked together. And fear keeps you from that. So I would say fear not. Definitely let go of any doubt, fear, insecurities, and things that are holding you down and weighing you back. Um, get with people that you feel have answers or that you see is living a life that you would like to live. Now is definitely not the time for pride and ego. Let that go. It's going to kill you. It's going to separate you. And the things that are about to happen on the planet, you're going to need to link up. Unity is going to save your life. Um, those people that are loners, oh man, you're going to get it first because you're alone. You know, this is a war that's taking place and a lot of people are not equipped. They don't have the armor. They don't have the ammunition. They don't even have the knowledge and know-how. Yet they just want to be out there by themselves. It's like um, the weakest link. It's like in nature. You're going to go after the, the smallest, weakest prey. And it's a definitely spiritual warfare taking place. A lot of you are feeling it. So I've been on this journey. It's been a lifestyle for me for a while. My path to awakening has been a long one. And um, some people are further along on that journey. Don't let pride and ego keep you from reaching out to people that you know you need to be linking up with to get answers, um, to receive certain energy. I always say there's a great awakening, a great shift. And on the 21st, if you still hold on to negative energy and negative things and people, you're going to see what happens after the 21st. There's changes on this planet that are about to take place and um, I would advise you guys to learn some type of survival skills stock up on some water some canned goods some gas some generators because things are about to get crazy um, there's greatness that are, is about to happen but um, there's a yin and yang to everything so when the good come prepare for the bad it's a balance. It's the great uh, yin and yang of life. So I'm just sharing what I know. I'm sharing um, what I could share, you know, because of the things that I've been through. A lot of people are reaching out to me. So I'm no, I'm no guru or uh, teacher. Um, I don't have a code or anything, but, you know, those people are out there that can help facilitate in this great awakening and this great shift and I would advise you to tap into it so I'm here for whoever wants to reach out um, and that's about it much love light and positive energy to all I hope you guys enjoy this solar eclipse and all of the energy that comes with it if you are in the path of totality um, you're going to experience something that you've never witnessed and tap into the energy because you can use that energy to prepare yourselves into higher realms and dimensions that you could never even fathom or wrap your mind around. Take advantage of this time, y'all. Much love, light, and positive energy. Peace.